Hello, my name is Gabriel. I'm a pet room manager for Zamzos, and I'm here to talk to you about the Australian Frilled Dragon. Now, this guy is pretty cool. He's pretty good size. He's not even as big as they get, though. They start out small, but this guy will actually reach a length of upwards of almost 24 to 36 inches. It can be pretty big. Um, You'll notice the first thing off about anybody knows this about these guys is the big frill that these guys have. I'll actually go ahead and put out as much of it as he'll let me. Put it out here. Yeah, he's not liking that. Not liking that at all. Um, but what they use that for, there's, there's several reasons they actually will use that. They will use it as a heat dissipator, kind of like an, their own personal little air conditioner, or as a solar, solar cell. They use it to go ahead and gather energy from the sun and heat so that they can move around early in the morning. They use it for terial, territorial displays between males. They use it as a, uh, a, a, ter a display for females during mating season, as well as they also use it as the standard that everybody's seen on, on different uh, television shows of chasing their enemies away. Nice big frill them on their hind legs running bipedally and just hissing to, to beat all, trying to run at their enemies. So it's a pretty, pretty neat little animal. These guys come from Australia. They come from the semi-arid to tropical regions in the northern of Australia. Um, they are an omnivore as well, although they do not spend a lot of time eating vegetable matter. Mostly what they're doing is eating smaller lizards, small snakes, um, and lots and lots of bugs. Um, they spend a lot of time vertically oriented against a tree like so. We'll let him kind of hang here for a little bit against my hand. You can kind of see what he looks like like that. They look like a stick. They, it's what they are designed to be camouflaged for. You can see the, the patterning on the back and you can see how they look if they were on a tree limb. You wouldn't be able to see them. It'd be pretty much impossible. All right. Now these guys, their, their standard average lifespan is about 12 years in captivity. Um, in nature, they've clocked them at probably about 18 to 20 years. Um, they also <laughs> like temperatures up in the very, very high 90s. Their ambient temperature can be as low as the mid 80s and they're fine, but they like a basking spot upwards of 105 degrees, so they like it hot. All right, well, if you need any other information or you have any other questions, you can find pet products and pet information at zamzos.com.